Hello and welcome to the topic the term meta function explained. Before we are going to talk about meta function, let's first talk about function of language. There is a long tradition of talking about the functions of language in contexts. Here, function simply means purpose or way of using language. It has no significance for the analysis of language itself, A.K. Halliday. Now we move on to the next, that is meta function. We have point number one. The term meta function is adopted to suggest that function is intrinsic to language. Point number two. It is an integral component within the overall theory of language. That is to say, the entire architecture of language is arranged along functional lines. Then we have next point about metafunction. That is three. Language is as it is because of the functions in which it has evolved in the human species. We have point number four. Meta function further claims that both the emergence of grammar and the particular forms that grammars take should be explained in terms of the functions that language evolved to serve. Now we move on to the next point that is meta function. Point number five, Michael Halliday, the founder of systemic functional linguistics, divides the way we use language into three different meta functions. And those three meta functions are number one, ideational function, interpersonal function, textual function. Ideational function is further divided into two parts experiential and logical. Then we have some more points regarding meta function. Point number six, meta functions are systemic clusters. That is, they are groups of semantic systems that make meanings of a related kind. Point number seven, the three meta functions are mapped onto the structure of the clause. Point number eight. For this reason, systemic linguists analyze a clause from three perspectives. And in the next lecture, I will try to deal each one of the meta functions one by one. Thank you and goodbye.